Venus opposite Jupiter, why yes, that sounds marvelous. I want to take your attention to Venus's opposition with Jupiter in Taurus right now. Um, so this is this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, Venus in Scorpio is kind of like she doesn't want to let go. She's afraid to let go. She's afraid that if she lets go, she's going to lose the beloved or she'll miss her chance or she'll never have this moment again. And so that's part of the reason that Venus clings. So Venus is like cling wrap in, in Scorpio. Um, we don't want to let go of something. We want to savor it and never let go of it. Um, so yeah, there's, this brings up finances. Okay. So right now in much of the West, there is, they're calling it a soft landing, but it's a recession. <laughs> we're, we're trying to avoid it. We don't want to admit it's happening, but we all feel it and are seeing the signs. So this is one where we want to watch for what's going on with finances. Cause this could be an important one. Um, we saw we see that this is getting close to that eclipse degree that I highlighted, where Jupiter's gonna spend a month shortly hereafter activating the eclipse degree of October 28th. It's gonna activate that degree from mid-December through mid-January. And with that eclipse, we did see a lot of themes around shortages of food and water. And things like that especially in the war zones um we saw that in a big way but we're feeling that in a really big way everywhere else um so yeah this can be something we might see some significant developments here with the economy and what what's going on there um so yeah this axis of Taurus and Scorpio does tend to have a lot to say about resources. And we have on one hand, Venus in detriment clinging to something, clinging to something, wanting to savor an experience versus Jupiter, which is a little bit more liberal and um, spendthrifty. And so we can see this opposition of the haves and the have nots. And that may be highlighted in some capacity here. The other thing is is on a personal level this can feel quite indulgent and venus and scorpio may say i may never have this chance again so i might as well live it up now i want to grab it and get it so that i can savor it right now so yeah when venus and jupiter get together there can be really delicious benefits there can be something very luscious and luxurious when these planets meet up but there is this venus in detriment here of um Going against the grain, again, it's not soft, so there might be something about going to an extreme. Um, you want to watch it with <laughs> the way in which you indulge because there can be like the possibility of like, this is a Mars sign, so I want to say like creating harm by overdoing it. So you want to watch that, that we're not creating harm by overdoing it. Sometimes there's a tendency to go to an extreme so that you feel it, like you want to hit a certain level kind of thing. So that's just something to be aware of as we work with, as we work with this. Um, yeah, it looks like Mercury is getting ready to station retrograde here in a couple of days. So that's in on it too. <laughs> so I think with Mercury in Capricorn wanting to have a plan is maybe inspired by this polarity of wanting to have more security. How do we get more security? So yeah, hopefully this aspect can maybe start helping us put back the pieces of our Taurus Scorpio polarity, which has been disrupted by eclipses, which is a little doubtful. You know, we still got Uranus and Taurus to work with. But something that you may feel on this weekend in December, the weekend of December 9th and 10th, is the tendency to overdo it, the tendency to go past the limit, the tendency to, um, yeah, just wanting to savor the moment and kind of take that pleasure experience to the edge, okay? 
So I hope it's enjoyable for you all. And we'll be talking more about Venus and Scorpio as we get into Capricorn season next time, because we do see that she's going to make an opposition with Uranus. So we'll save that for another time. But for right now, that's your astrology shot of the day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For a deeper look at how the planets are lighting up your life, you can book your next astrology reading with me. And we'll take a deeper look at your progressions, your perfections, your solar return, so that you can go forward with a greater deal of confidence and preparedness about what lies ahead. I look forward to connecting with you and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.